So in this lesson, you're going to be learning about um, how to convert between fractions, decimals, and percentages. And fractions, decimals, percentages, along with other things, are referred to as real numbers. So that's the term we use to describe fractions, decimals, percentages, and other things of that nature. The learning intention for this lesson is to develop the ability to convert between fractions, decimals, and percentages. Um, the success criteria is that I understand that fractions, decimals, and percentages can represent the same number. So that's a really key point, that the numbers might look different, but they actually are the same number, just represented a different way. Um, and then you need to know the steps to change from one to another. So say a fraction to a decimal or a fraction to a percentage. And then you need to be able to complete the steps and check that your answer makes sense. And we'll go into more detail into what those steps actually are. The first one we're going to do is from a percentage to a decimal or a decimal to a percentage. The reason we're doing this first is it's actually quite, uh, quite simple and straightforward. To go from a percentage to a decimal, you need to divide by 100. Because if we think about a percentage, it's out of 100. So the number 100 is very useful to us, okay? To go from a decimal to a percentage, you need to times the decimal by 100. All right, so our first example is going to be going from a percentage to a decimal, okay? So we're starting off with 25%. The first step is that if I'm going from a percentage to a decimal, I know that I need to divide by 100. So if I'm going to divide this by 100, I can show you on the calculator. If I go 25 divided by 100, I'm actually going to get 0.25 as an answer. And what you can see is what's happened is I've moved around the decimal point to places is the equivalent of doing um, divided by 100. It's m moving around the decimal point too. Okay, so for our next couple of examples, we're going to try doing it without the calculator, but just remember you can just physically divide it on the calculator if you want to. Okay, so our second example is going to be uh, 14%. So if I'm converting it to a decimal, I know I need to divide by 100, but that means moving the decimal, uh, moving around the decimal point twice. So I end up with 0 0.14. Okay, if you want to do it on your calculator to check, you can. Um, all right, so this one's a little bit different. Let's say we do 8%. Okay, so we're going from a percentage to a decimal, so I know I need to divide by 100, but it also means moving my decimal point twice. Now, I actually don't have anything to jump over there, so I'm going to put a zero there, and my answer will be 0 0.08. Okay, is the decimal equivalent of 8%. All right, we're just going to do one more converting this way. And this one's going to be 162%. Now, the difference with this one is that we've actually got a number that's over 100%. But that doesn't matter. We still need to divide by 100, which also means we can just move our decimal point twice, which means I would end up with 1.62. Okay. Similarly, if I'm going to go from a decimal to a percentage, say I start off with a decimal, so I might start off with 0 0.12, going from a decimal to a percentage, I'm going to times by 100. Decimal to a percentage times by 100. Okay, I can do that on my calculator, 0 0.12 times 100, and that will give me 12. But if you don't have a calculator, you're going to move the decimal point, you're just going to move it the other way. Okay, so you're going to move it twice, but you're just going to move it to the right twice. Okay, so our last example that I'm going to do is going to be 0 0.01. So I've started with a decimal, I want to turn it to a percentage, so I need to times it by 100. So I'm going to times by 100. I'm going to move my decimal point this way because my number is getting bigger, okay, because I'm timesing it. And that's only going to give me 1%. Okay, so percentage to a decimal, you divide by 100. A decimal to a percentage, you times by 100. That's pretty much all it is. 
All right, for this next one, what we're going to do is a fraction to a percentage and a percentage to a fraction. Now, in both these scenarios, what we really want to do is get our fraction to go over 100. Okay, so if we're starting with a fraction, we want to put it over 100 because we know a percentage is out of 100. And if we're starting with a percentage and turning it into a fraction, well, like as I said, percentage is out of 100. So you just need to put whatever that percentage is out of 100. So for this first example, it's going to be 3 over 25. That's our fraction. So if we're starting with a fraction, we obviously want to convert it to a percentage. So I want to put this fraction over 100. That's what I want it to end up looking like. Okay. So to get it over 100, I have to times the top and the bottom by something to get it over 100. Okay. So I know that 25 times 4 will give me 100. So I need to times the top number by 4 as well. Okay. So 3 times 4 is going to be 12. So I'm going to get 12 over 100. Now, 12 out of 100 is like saying 12%. Okay. Because a percentage is out of 100. So 12 out of 100 is the same thing as 12%. Okay. So I times the bottom to get 100 and whatever I did to the bottom I needed to do to the top as well okay so for this second example it's going to be 4 over 10 now same thing goes I want to try and put this over 100 so I can figure out what it would be as a percentage 10 times something gives me 100 10 times 10 gives me 100 so whatever I've done to the bottom, I need to do to the top. So I'm going to times this by 10. Okay. So 4 times 10 is 40. So 40 out of 100 is the same thing as 40%. Okay. So that's how those ones work. We're just going to do one more like that just to really make sure you get it. So this one's going to be 7 over 5. So... I want to put it over 100. 5 times something gives me 100. 5 times 20, I know that. 7 then needs to be times by 20. 7 times 20 is going to be 140. Now, it doesn't matter that this is bigger than my denominator. The top number is bigger than the, spot, the bottom. The numerator is bigger, okay? Because in my starting question, the um, numerator was bigger than the denominator. And it is possible to have a percentage over 100. It is a thing, okay? Um, all right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go the other way around. We're going to go a percentage to a fraction, okay? So the one we're going to do for that is going to be 75%. How would I turn 75% into a fraction? Well, I want to put it over 100. And it's out as a percentage. So it's 75 over 100. But what I need to do now is I want to simplify that. Okay, so I started with a simplified form, put it over 100, then got a percentage. I'm starting with a percentage. It's non-simplified, so now I need to simplify it. So I need to think of a number that goes into 75 and 100. And I know that 25 is a common factor, okay? Highest common factor of both. That goes into that three times. 25 goes into 75 three times. 25 goes into 100 four times. So I'm going to get three quarters, okay? I'm going to do just two more examples, but I've run out of space. So I'm just going to rub this out and then I'm going to do two more examples. All right, so for example five, this time we're starting with 36%. Okay, I want to put it over 100. I'm going to make it 36 out of 100, which is a fraction, but it's not the most simplified. So I need to think of a number that goes into 36 and 100 and I know that 4 goes into both so 4 goes into 36 9 times and 4 goes into 125 times so 36% is the same thing as 9 25 all right our last example for fractions to um, percentages uh, I mean percentages to fractions is going to be 53 and a half 
percent, which is a really unattractive way of writing that um, percentage. But essentially, we still need to put that over 100, okay? But what I know is that this is the same thing as 53.5, okay? Half is the same thing as 0.5. So I want to put that over 100, but we don't like decimals in um, fractions. Like you can't have a decimal and a fraction together. It looks really silly. So what we actually need to do is we need to move this over a decimal place and then move this over a decimal place as well. And then that will give us 535 over a thousand. Okay. I don't like the decimal point there, so we need to get rid of that. So the next step is to figure out a number that goes into both of these. Now, I can see this ends in a five and this ends in a zero. So that tells me straight away that they're both divisible by five, okay? I'm gonna use my calculator to help me with this one. 535 divided by five is going to be 107 and a thousand divided by five should be 200. Okay, so that's how I converted a fraction to a percentage and a percentage to a fraction. So this is the last combination that I'm going to show you, but um, what you're actually going to find is I'm going to show you a way that you can do it on the calculator, and this will then also help you with how to convert from fractions to um, uh, percentages as well. Um, what I'm going to do, to get a fraction to a decimal, you're going to do the numerator divided by the denominator. Okay, numerator divided by the denominator is how you're going to get it from a decimal to a, uh, from a fraction to a decimal, sorry. Okay, and to get it from a decimal to a fraction, you need to put it over a multiple of 10. Okay, which is kind of like what we did from getting it from a fraction and um, from a percentage to a fraction, but it's just a little bit different with decimals. All right, so to get it from a fraction to a decimal, the first one we're going to do is 1 8. Now, I said the numerator divided by the denominator, which is the top number divided by the bottom number. So I'm going to go 8, I mean 1 divided by 8, and I'm going to do that straight on my calculator. 1 divided by 8, and that's going to give me 1.75. I mean 1 point, that's going to give me 0 0.125, okay? Now, if I wanted to then turn this into a percentage, all I would have to do is times by 100. You can rewind and look at how to do decimal to percentage if you'd like. Okay, so that's the easy way of doing it. Okay, I could put it over 100 like what I did for percentages, but this is just the calculator way that I'm going to show you for this one. Okay, so another example that we can do is maybe a more obscure one is we can go 27 over 42. Okay. Now that's a really hard one to try and put out of 100 and all that kind of stuff. So we're just gonna do the numerator, 27, divided by the denominator, 42. So 27 divided by 42 is gonna give me 0 0.6, let's say 43, okay, if we're rounding. Last example of going from a fraction to a decimal Let's say it's 291 over 76, okay? So it doesn't matter that the numerator is bigger. I'm just gonna do 291 divided by 76. I'm gonna do it on the calculator. 291 divided by 76 is going to give me 3.8, three is what I'm gonna round that to, okay? So fractions to decimals is easy if you've got a calculator. All you have to do is the numerator divided by the denominator and round if you need to do that, okay? Now I'm going to show you how to do a decimal to a fraction. All right, so our first, uh, well, our fourth example, but our first one of going from a decimal to a fraction is 0 0.27. Now, this decimal goes up to this place. This is called the tenths and this is called the hundredths. Okay, so if our number goes out to the hundredths, that means we're going to put it over 100. Okay, if you're not sure, so we're going to put it over 100 because it goes to the hundredths. 
So it's gonna become 27 over 100, okay? If you're not sure how far back to go with your um, decimal, like if there's, you know, you don't know all the place names, you just look at, okay, there's two digits in the decimals, so I need two zeros in my denominator, okay? Is it a sneaky way of working that one out, okay? So if this one is 0 0.146, I know that this goes tenths, hundredths, thousandths, but if you didn't know that this went to thousandths, you could just say there's one, two, three decimal places. So I need one, two, three zeros in my um, denominator, okay? So that's gonna give me 146. So I know that two goes into both of these, so I'm gonna divide by two, and that's gonna give me 73 over 500, and that's the most simplified that I can get that one, okay? And this is also the most simplified that one can be, that's why I didn't simplify that one. Okay, and the last one that we're gonna do is gonna be 1.05. This has two decimal places. It doesn't matter that this is a one or a number that's not zero. Um, we still only have two decimal places here. So that means it's going to go over 100. It only goes to hundredths. There's only two decimal places, so there's only two zeros in my denominator, okay? This is gonna be 105, because it's 105, 105, and then I can simplify. Now I know that five goes into both of these. I know that five goes into 120 times, so it goes into 105 21 times. That's how I can convert a decimal to a fraction, okay? Now, this video had a lot of information in it. So if you only wanna work on one of these combinations, say percentages to decimals, then just work on the one thing to start with. If you feel like you're really good at two of them, then just work on the third one that you're struggling with, okay? This is the kind of video you can go back, re-watch it over and over, because I know it's a little bit longer. You probably don't necessarily want to watch all of it at once, okay? But if we think back to our learning intention and success criteria, the learning intention was to be able to convert between fractions, decimals, and percentages, and we've done all of that. Okay, so you need to know the steps on how to convert and then you need to be able to enact those steps. You also need to be aware, as I said in one of the success criteria, that 0 0.27 is the same number as 27 over 100. They're the same number, they just look different. Okay, so if you can do all of those things or you understand all of those things, then you've met today's success criteria.